Hey, Minecraft Mod Packs, what's up? It's Sickle Kid Detective here investigating your favorite movies, and I have promised uh, all of my viewers um, that I am going to uh, do a review on a bad movie after I have reviewed two classics, The Shining and Shaun of the Dead. And here we go, a bad movie, and um, it's going to be Movie 43. Uh, released in the year 2013 and and I didn't expect this movie to be this bad <laughs> it had exceeded my expectations on being bad like going into the movie I know this is going to be shitty but I I I don't know I didn't know that it's gonna be this shitty like literally like poop shitty <laughs> so uh yeah i'm sorry about uh the back to back extremely negative reviews but i watched this movie yesterday um i did skip a few parts because i just can't bear it but i did survive the movie and i'm gonna talk about it so movie 43 uh, even though the title of the movie literally has the word movie, it's not a movie. This is basically 12 short comedy sketches slapped together with a sloppily written bass under all the sketches so that it could be like sort of like a central theme. So uh, that bass storyline is basically um, two friends, uh, they wanted to prank a kid. So they decided to trick this kid uh, by telling him about this um, movie called Movie 43 and it's completely made up and when they are distracting this kid and they're telling this kid to watch this movie, uh, the other friend is gonna steal this kid's laptop watch porn and install virus and uh and then as it turns out movie 43 is a real thing it's not made up and then their house blew up at the end <laughs> i'm not kidding uh and so the kids watching all these comedy sketches and then in turn we watch the comedy sketches and these comedy sketches are like rejected SNL sketches that are being rejected because they are too offensive and too immature and dumb. Most of the sketches have immature jokes that are basically about shit, piss, and fart. And look, I do enjoy myself some dumb, immature, fun comedy, but this is just so unfunny. This is just so unfunny. It becomes obnoxious. It becomes annoying so much so that you will have suicidal tendencies while you watch this awful piece of shit movie you know what makes this movie even more disgusting and disgraceful is that it features so many big hollywood names like hugh jackman kate winslet naomi watts halle berry richard Gere, emma stone Chris Pratt, Terrence Howard, the list just goes on. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know, these actors are legitimately good actors, and they're appearing in this non-movie? Why? Why are you... <laughs> it's like, it's like when, when they decided to to be a part of this movie... It's like they, they, the, the, the angels and demons on their shoulders are having a tug of war. A side of them are telling them to not do this movie because it's going to ruin their careers. But a part of them is like, you know what, whatever, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Nobody's going to care, right? And they, they decided to go with the, with the devil. Uh, except for George Clooney. He's actually smart enough to turn down this bullshit. Because 
I mean, shout out to George Clooney, man. <laughs> and the producers of this movie include Peter Farrelly, who would then go on to make a movie called Green Book and win Best Picture in the Oscars, in the Academy Awards. So if you have the potential to make a movie like Green Book, which had won Best Picture, why are you making this shit? Also, Bob Odenkirk is in this project. What are you doing, Bob? Like, you're a good actor. And you're a good director, too. And why are you making this? What? Why are you making this? It legitimately irritates me. There are some sketches here that are really, really offensive. However, I'm not that easily offended. Even when one, one of the sketches involve this. I'm not offended, okay? I'm not offended, okay? I'm, I'm not super cool with it, but I'm just not offended, okay? But yet, I am extremely irritated at how dumb and unbearable this is. I'm just gonna quickly go through all the sketches. Uh, what am I even doing with my life here? Uh, we have the sketches which try to be funny, but didn't work because it's, it's just not funny. It's just not funny at all. Uh, we have a sketch where Na Naomi Watts and Liev Schreiber uh, bully this kid. Uh, and then at the end, they just suddenly did a 180 degree and decided to seduce this kid. And then we have superhero speed dating, which would have actually been a pretty funny idea for a sketch. Except it's just too ridiculous and too messy. To be a good sketch like they have this one joke and then they and then three seconds later they jump onto another joke and it's just not funny there's one joke in this sketch that that's actually pretty funny and that is uh when uh the the fake batman is high is hiding under the table and supergirl could see through it not because she has laser eyes but because He's literally under a coffee table. But everything else about the sketch just falls completely flat. Uh, and, and Uma Thurman is in the sketch. What are you doing? And and not like he's playing some sort of badass Quentin Tarantino character. He's just this idiot. And then C Kristen Bell is in this thing as well. Jeez. Bobby Cannavale is in this thing too. And then we have iBabe, um, which is uh, just uh, dumb. Basically, iBabe is a sex doll that's actually an MP3 player. And the, com and, and the company is called iBabe, and the CEO is played by Richard Gere. What are you doing, Richard Gere? Why are you appearing here? Also, Jack McBrayer is in the sketch as well. And, uh, and then we have a sketch called Veronica. And uh, it, it's supposed to be funny and it just turns into this weirdly almost creepy clip uh, where Emma Stone uh, stumbles upon uh, this person who, who's also in the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World movie. And they were in a supermarket and originally the, the guy was doing an announcement through the microphone and then this girl pops up and... And he knows this girl, so he started talking to this girl, uh, saying really awkward sexual things that are sometimes really hateful, sometimes really uh, overly intimate. And uh, he forgot to turn off his microphone, so the entire supermarket heard it. And um, we have probably heard this joke for a million times now. It's not that funny. And it's actually kind of creepy. And then we have the uh, the Leprechaun sketch, where Gerard Butler didn't only play one, but two Leprechauns. And both of the Leprechauns gets killed at the end of the sketch. And uh, the, the humans in the sketch just ended up grabbing all the gold. Where's the punchline? Where's the punchline? I can't find it. Where's the punchline? And then we have we have a sketch 
making light of a 15-year-old girl having her first period. And it stars Chloe Grace Moretz. And her voice hadn't even changed yet. She was that young when she's filming for this sketch. And again, it's not funny. And it's actually kind of kind of creepy. And the adults are incredibly dumb in this sketch. I mean, again, I'm I'm down for some dumb, stupid fun. You know, time to deliver a pizza bowl. Bam, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And then we have sketches that are actually um, really disgusting. Uh, first off, we have Truth or Dare, and it features Stephen, Stephen Merchant and Halle Berry. And at first, it does look like it's going to be something kind of funny. It could potentially be a sort of this uh, funny, crazy, whack SNL sketch. And then, uh, you know, these two characters played by Halle Berry and S Stephen Merchant or Stephen Merchant. They were playing truth or dare and it just goes crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier because they're just daring each other and then at the end they both just yeah and i don't like the sketch not because it's so crazy and whack uh you you know jordan peele and keegan michael key would also be super duper whack in sketches that they make like the one with the soul food like the one with the hat but I hate this one because it just ends up not funny. At first, it's kind of funny, like grabbing someone's ass or blowing the birthday cake uh, of a blind kid who didn't realize that the candles were blown. Uh, and then at the end, the jokes are basically becoming Asian, having a penis tattoo on your face. And uh, having plastic surgery. That's absolutely disgusting. The most disgusting has to be the pook one. Uh, Chris Pratt and his wife, Anna Ferris, Where they live in a world where they believe that pooping is the best part of sex. And the worse the poop is, the better the sex. The better the relationship. And... I was actually eating when I was watching the sketch. I wasn't eating like a big meal. I was just eating an apple. Didn't enjoy it. Did not enjoy it. Mm. And uh, we also have uh, the first sketch, which is actually my least favorite sketch. Hugh Jackman and Kate Winston. What the fuck are you doing here? Ah, uh, like... So basically, Kate Winslet and Hugh Jackman are on a date there in this fancy restaurant, and Hugh Jackman has has balls, has testicles, hanging from his neck. I know it sounds funny when I say it, but when you actually watch it, it's not funny at all. It just falls completely flat, and it's just so annoying. Not only is the punchline non-existent. It's also disgusting, but not in a really stupid, funny way. More in a dry way. You know, there are actually a couple of funny sketches here. Like the one where uh, it's revealed that there are kids inside machines. Uh, but it's not really a sketch. It's just an ad. Uh, and then there's also a, a, my favorite sketch here is actually the, the Terrence Howard sketch. Where it's actually kind of funny. Because uh, it was in the 50s when uh, there's this basketball match and the white people have to fight against the black people. And, uh, and you, know, you know, originally the black people were really discouraged and Terrence Howard plays the coach and, and he was like, no, you're going to win because you're black. And everybody was like, you know, they didn't understand it. But at the end, they, they really won and it's like, Okay, that one was actually really funny. Uh, and then uh, we have the fake end credits, and then we have the ending, um, which is not even a comedy sketch, more like a, uh, a cheesy horror movie clip, uh, where essentially a cat 
and a woman is jealous of each other because both of them wants this man. And at the end, it, it, it's just straight up scary. This cat is murderous. It's trying to murder this woman. And so this woman has to murder this cat before she gets killed. But when she killed the cat at the end of the sketch, the cat won. And the cat's crazy. Yeah, overall, this, uh, this is awful. This is awful. Thank God George Clooney isn't in this. Uh, not only... Are these sketches immature and dumb and not funny? The punchlines are non-existent. Uh, the plot of the movie is non-existent. And I, I barely made it through the entire movie. Yeah. This movie sucks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's trash. And I'm giving it a 1 out of 10. Exactly a 1. No more, no less. A 1. So have you watched it, this, this movie? From 1 to 10, how much did you rate it? Like if you like it, hate if you hate it. And subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching. I'm out. Fuck it.